I can't believe this, my Sony CV-1 pictures look like full-frame pictures now. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the just released DxO Pure RAW 3. That's the latest version of their denoising and sharpening app. I've been using the beta version for about a week now and I'm gonna go right ahead and say that I'm pretty impressed and it is a significant improvement over the previous version. And as always, I'm gonna put an affiliate link down below just in case you'd like to purchase this app or upgrade your current version to this latest version. DxO Pure Raw 3 works as a standalone app and also as a plugin for Lightroom. And it's available for both Mac and Windows. And I'm a Mac user, so what I'm going to say in this video applies to the Mac version. Uh, there could be some minor differences in the Windows version because of the different operating system. Now let's have a look at some of the new features and then we're gonna process a couple of pictures to see what DxO Pure Raw 3 can do. DxO Pure Raw 3 is a very simple app that is designed mainly to improve your high ISO noisy pictures. It doesn't have any fine tuning options, but you can choose to export or output to DNG RAW and you can continue processing the file or the picture in your favorite RAW processing application if you prefer to do that. One of the new features is the processing queue. You can organize your pictures in the processing queue and then process them all at once while you're having a coffee break or nap or lunch or whatever. You can also process multiple pictures in the Lightroom plugin, but the good news is that you can still, while the plugin is processing the pictures, you can still use Lightroom normally and process other pictures or do whatever you want to do in Lightroom while the plugin is working in the background. Raw processing and denoising has four options. High quality, prime, D prime and D prime XD. Based on my experience, the D' and D' XD produce the best results. But it's worth experimenting with the other options too, of course, depending on the, on the starting point, what your original picture looks like. The optical corrections also have several options. You can first choose if the lens softness is corrected or not. It has four options, soft, standard, strong and hard. My experience so far is that the soft and standard are the best options. The other two are a little bit too aggressive and the pictures look uh, over sharpened to me. But of course that also depends on your starting point. And then you can choose whether you want to remove finiting and chromatic aberrations. And the most important lens correction is of course the distortion correction. And there you have three options. You can have the picture cropped to its original dimensions and aspect ratio as it came from your camera. And the second option is maximum rectangle. And depending on your lens, how much uh, distortion it has, you can have quite a lot more horizontal coverage as we can see in these examples from my Sony ZV-1 camera, the maximum rectangle has over 1.6 more megapixels and quite a lot more horizontal coverage, as you can see from these sample pictures. And the third option is complete image area, which includes all the cropped out uh, sections of the picture too after corrections. Finally, you can output your picture to either DNG RAW or JPEG or TIFF. And if you wish to continue RAW processing in some other application, I recommend outputting to DNG RAW, of course. Now let's process a couple of pictures and see what the DxO Pure RAW 3 can do. In Lightroom, you first select your picture or pictures, and then you go to uh, the file menu and choose plugin extras, and there you choose DxO Pure Raw 3. And my first picture is here. It's from my Sony A7 Mark IV, shot at 
ISO 6400. On the right, we can see the original RAW file from the camera, and on the left, we can see the DxO Pure RAW 3 file. The face of this person looks quite good. It doesn't look uh, like plastic or wax or anything. And the sharpening is just about right to me. It's not too aggressive. I used the soft lens sharpening option here and anything more to me would be too much. So like I said earlier, I think soft and standard are the best options for most pictures, unless your picture is somehow really blurry or somehow bad. Also, when we look at the noise, it's pretty much gone, but the picture does not look artificial or somehow over-processed, to me at least. And even though this picture was not really bad to begin with, I'm still pretty impressed and uh, the end result looks quite good. Here's another sample picture. It's from my Sony ZV-1. The lighting conditions were extremely bad and I was not expecting to get any really good results here, but I wanted to test my ZV-1 in these extreme conditions. On the right, we can see the original RAW from the camera and on the left, we see the DxO Pure RAW 3 version. As we zoom in, we can see that the original picture is pretty noisy and not that sharp. And I think DxO Pure 3 adds just about the right amount of sharpening here and it removes all the noise. I can even see some uh, uh, structure on the wall in the background, which in the original is just a, a complete a noisy mess. No detail whatsoever. So quite impressive results. Here's my third sample picture, and this is quite extreme. It's a low light scene that I shot on my iPhone SE camera back in 2018. And this is not a great low light camera. When I shot the picture, I used the Lightroom camera app. So the original file is also a DNG raw file. And that we can see on the right. And on the left, we can see the picture from DxO Pure Raw 3. Again, DxO Pure 3 does a nice job here. The noise is pretty much all gone, but the picture does not look artificial or over-processed. The sharpness is also improved remarkably, and I could print this picture at least to A4 size and be very happy with the result, maybe even bigger. And all in all, I think uh, it just looks really, really nice. Now let's compare Pure Raw 2 and Pure Raw 3. I'm gonna use the same low light street scene picture because it's so extreme. Here on the right you can see Pure Raw 2 and on the left you can see Pure Raw 3 picture. As we zoom in, the bright area of the picture looks pretty much the same, not any significant difference there. But once we zoom into uh, one of the darker areas, we can see that the Pure Raw 3 picture is much cleaner and there is absolutely no noise visible whatsoever. My opinion is that the lens corrections alone make this a worthwhile upgrade to the previous version. Now you have more options and better lens corrections all in all. Software lens corrections are integral part of lens design these days and if you want to squeeze the best out of your lens or all the sharpness and performance out of your lens, you need the best software lens corrections too. And if your raw processor can't do that, you can't get the best out of your lens. Simple as that. Also, the denoising is significantly improved with the D'XD option. And especially with those um, really difficult, super noisy pictures, that is a very, very uh, practical and uh, useful improvement. One definite upside is the ease of use. DxO Pure Raw 3 is very simple to use and the learning curve is very, very low or not steep at all. I think the only real downside with DxO Pure Raw 3 and also Pure Raw 2 is the file sizes. They are huge, about two and a half times the original raw file. And 
if you only process one or two pictures every once in a while, it's not going to be any problem. But if you process a lot of pictures, then you'll probably need to buy some more hard drive space. And then the price. If you buy a complete new license, that's going to be 129 euros or US dollars. And if you upgrade your previous version, that's going to be 79 US dollars or euros. And like I said earlier in this video, I think this is a worthy upgrade because the lens corrections are so much better and also the denoising is significantly improved over the previous version. And like I said, I do have an affiliate link down below. Please use that if you wish to uh, purchase this or upgrade and you'll support my channel at the same time. I hope this video was useful and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much and I'll definitely see you again in the next video.